hello and welcome to Modeling This Adventures. And in this big box, I've got packs five and six of the Agora models Routemaster bus. It's a bit unusual this one because they normally only send one pack a month, but this month they've sent two packs. And it just looks like an enormous bag of goodies, doesn't it? So let's have a look and see what we've got in it. Oh, look at that. That looks to be the bit at the back of the bus, doesn't it? Oh, that's fantastic. What have we got here? That's another part of the back. That's near the back staircase. Uh, and I reckon that that long pole there is the pole on the rear platform where the people used to stand when they get on and off. Those are parts for the upper part of the staircase. Now that is heavy. That is part of the floor made of metal. There's a battery box in there and some wire cabling. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. That's a roof, isn't it? That's part of the roof. And some more wire cabling to go in it. Blimey. And this looks like another part of the roof. Probably the roof of the lower deck, but I don't know for certain. Oh, look here. More parts of the bodywork, some handles. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that, that looks incredible, doesn't it? I am gonna so look forward to building this, these stages. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. What is in here? Gotta be side frames. Side frames with windows. And here, that has got to be the floor on the lower deck. No way, look at those, those are seats. Fantastic, we've got the seats and more seats. There's obviously going to be a lot of seats on this bus. It was a double decker. More parts of the floor. What is that in there? That is a sound module. I bet that's for, for the engine noise. More side frames. That looks good, doesn't it? Look at that. What have we got here? This looks like window frames, maybe. And some wiring. This is never ending. Look at all of this. Wow, more parts of the bodywork there. Another big chunk of bodywork here. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Look, that obviously goes over a wheel arch. Both sides. Terrific. And then what have we got here? An enormous packet full of seats. Look at that lot. It's just like a massive pile of parts and toys. It's going to be amazing when this is all done. So here we go. Stage 41 and this is the first time we're going to put any windows on. I'm going to fit them to the driver's cab. Here are all the parts. Those are the windows and this is the cab we made last time and we're going to put the windows in that. So that's going to be a big step forward, isn't it? Now I'm going to wear gloves to handle these because I don't want to get any fingerprints on these windows. They're very nice, aren't they? 
Well, that section's done with the windows in. I've got to say, they look they look really good. Again, great quality. And then we've got these little flaps in here. These are a bit fiddly to fit, but they're really good, aren't they? And now we're going to fasten this to the part of the cab that we built in a previous section. So we built this front part of the grill and bodywork in in stage one, actually. And now it's fantastic because we're going to get to put the cab on here. Well, that is stage 41 done and it's looking really good. And inside here, I just put some LED lights in here to the headlight and the little side light. So that's coming on really good. And in the next stage, this is going to be fitted onto the chassis. So in stage 42, they provide the first part of the floor, uh, but the main part of this stage is actually fastening the cab onto the chassis. I think that's gonna be a bit fiddly, but when it's done, it's gonna look amazing. Now this bit is really fiddly because you've got to make some connections as this goes on, including this light in here and the steering rod. It's quite tricky getting that on. Now this black pipe here broke off when I tried to fit it. It wouldn't fit into the hole and it snapped. So I had to make another little pipe. I used a little piece of 3D printing filament. Now the next part of this stage is going to sort out all this wiring and it's going to run through the grooves in the chassis. Well that's brought us to a very interesting stage of this model because now we've got this, uh, the chassis with the front cab and engine installed and doesn't that look absolutely spectacular. Now there were a few problems in getting this cab on and I'm just going to go over those because if you're actually making this I I'm sure you're going to experience the same thing. So first of all, it was actually pretty tricky to get this cab section in here into the, the bodywork. This, this floor was a very tight fit. You had to fiddle it around very carefully. Uh, there's a little groove over here that it, it sits on top of, but it was very tight on the other side. And there's uh, two little screws down behind that engine. And uh, they were quite difficult to get aligned. And again, there's a fair amount of fiddling to get that in. And then you have to fit this cab and front grill section onto the chassis around the engine. And this in itself was really quite tricky. I found it quite hard to get the, the bodywork aligned. Uh, there are screws to fasten this on. There are three screws here on the floor of the driver's cab, which have to screw into holes on the wheel arches underneath. And it was actually quite difficult to get those aligned. And there are some more screws behind this wheel I actually took the wheel off to get at them, uh, where you screw this section of the bodywork onto the wheel arches. And again, quite tricky to get those aligned. So there's a lot of fiddling to get this aligned properly and to get it to fit. Now, as you're actually fitting it, there's an LED light that goes into this reflector here. Very fiddly to get that in as you're actually fitting it. So that takes a bit of time. And then as the bodywork joins uh, here next to the engine, you have to connect up these pipes here and they weren't a perfect fit. Um, I had to do a bit of sanding to get this one to fit in here and at the other end. And this little black tube broke off and I had to make another one. So it's quite tricky to get those, uh, those pipes to connect up as they should. We then had to run all these wires here through the, the chassis. Here there is a connecting wire which joins the uh, wires of the two headlights together and this was actually incorrectly labelled. So uh, again if you connected it up as it said in the instructions this would not actually fit because there's a long arm and a short arm and it would have been the wrong way around. So that needed again to be sorted out in order to get it all correct. 
But despite all those little niggles, this is what we've ended up with, and it is a absolutely beautiful model. So very pleased with it, and it does look absolutely amazing. So that's it for this video. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there. Now we've got to the end of that section. That part of the bus now needs to put, be put to one side because in the next stages, we're gonna be moving on and starting work on the floor of the bus and the seating. So with that, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you next time on Modeling Misadventures.